Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Atari Vault. Today we're going to be playing Steeplechase. I would love to play Starship, but it crashes every time. I've tried like three or four times, crashes every single time. I have no idea what's wrong. Um, so I have no idea. So if this game works for you, great, but it does not work for me. So that sucks. It looks like a really cool like lane chasing, not lane chaser, it's um... Works a lot like Tempest, except on, imagine Tempest had like only four lanes. Top, right, left, bottom. And then you move around the four lanes and try to race there. It sounds really cool. Plus it incorporates like Lunar Lander into it, which also sounds cool, but unfortunately it doesn't work. So, Steeplechase it is, which looks like it doesn't have anything to do with steeples and I am disappointed. Um, it also apparently uses the rotational controls, which is weird. Not how I expected. So meet the video arcade horses. If they actually look like this, I would be thrilled. Little dictator and just missed. All right. Land at the top of the play field is little dictator. Look, little dictator is a mean streak that surfaces every now and then. Once after losing a race, he ate the entire grandstands. So what, he's part goat? The fuck? All right, the horse in the next lane was aptly named Just Miss. Just missed every race he had ever entered before coming to Ross Stables. Now he's dependable as a horse could be. He doesn't win every race, but he never misses one. All right. Absent-minded, which of course is upside down. He, he tends to forget things occasionally. One time during a race, he completely forgot what he was supposed to do, was to be doing, ended up selling programs to the spectators lined up at the railing. Of course, at the bottom lane of the playfield is a pride and joy of the video arcade stables. Lucky Devil is his name. He looks very smug. Um, he has become so wealthy from winning races, he now lives at the infamous Horse Heaven. Oh, Horse Heaven. Penthouse. Sorry. At Horse Heaven, he sleeps in a hoof-shaped waterbed. Dines regular on caviar or flavored oats. Okay, that sounds disgusting. And carrots and drinks champagnes while lounging in his Gucci loafers and satin leather jacket. All right, then. Object of Steeple should be the first player to advance your horse to the right side of the screen display. All right. Each horse gallops a different speed from left to right, where the horse gallops hurdles a different size approach to the horse to the left. Pass the jump and clear the hurdles and get your horse to the right side first. As you're jumping each hurdle, your horse actually has no motion from left to right, which makes sense, right? You can't actually change your trajectory based on movement because that would be ridiculous. That's not how physics works. So, okay, whenever you hit a hurdle, your horse loses some horizontal position distance while it fails falls to the ground and gets up the higher you jump your horse the easier it is to clear the hurdles however the higher you jump the more time it takes to clear the hurdles and the more time it takes to the right side of the screen right because physics okay height of a jump can be set by adjusting the height indicator bar which shown in figure one for height settings each horse has its own height indicator bar okay that's using the controllers the speed of the race starts off slow and increases when the le leading horse gets about one third of the way across the screen and again, the leading horse gets two-thirds of the way across. All right. Or the game ends automatically when the game clock reaches 300, 300 three minutes, whatever. And the horse is made to the right side. All right. So we can do that. So paddle controllers. So mouse control, I guess. We could use the, the D-pad, maybe. We'll have to look at the controls for this. Yeah, because this is weird. So basically what you're adjusting is how high they yeah you're adjusting how high they jump and also when they jump all right so this is strange right i mean that is what we're doing right each player has four seconds to press the red controller button let's place your horse in the race otherwise the computer will control the horse so that makes sense that's when you press the controller button your horse changes from a sitting position to a standing position press the red controller button to jump your horse Turn the dial on the paddle controller to select one of four height settings of the height indicator bar. Clear the widest hurdles, you must use the highest setting on the lower height settings to clear the small hurdles. Okay. So basically, you got to think on the fly. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Um, so we're going to have to look at the controls here and see what this actually involves. Yeah, okay. So left stick is going to be move. Fire is going to be A. I could probably do that what about the mouse controls 
It says paddle, but really that just means, you know, move your fucking mouse. Um, sensitivity is at five, which I think should be fine. I have no idea how high that goes. And fire is, of course, the luck button, because whatever else would it be? Might be better to use the mouse for this. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to use the mouse for this. Uh, it's back out of this. And I think using the mouse might be the better option here. So, controller down. I have no idea which horse is going to be us. I'm guessing the top one, but I have no idea. All right, so do game select. Good computer skill, excellent computer skill, random hurdles. You know what? I'm going to say random hurdles, poor computer skill. Because what the fuck, right? Let's at least try to start off a little bit. See how it works. Um, and then I guess we go in here. The left of what he does nothing for me. Um, so game select. We've already done that, right? Yeah. Okay. So random hurdles. Poor computer skills. What I said we were going to do. There we go. Game reset. And then press my button. Um, all four of them sit up. So I don't understand how that's supposed to go. Okay. I have no idea who we are right now. I'm guessing we're top. Because that's who I'm looking at. Okay, I screwed up there. Assuming we are top. That was also a bad jump, but that's okay. Oh, this is going to be bad too. Yep. Oh no, no, I'm yellow. I'm yellow. Pay no attention to the man behind the mask. Jump, jump your life like your life depended on it. I am so bad at this. He jumped like the last second. My, I can't go any higher. It doesn't go any higher than this. What am I supposed to do? Oh, man. I'm jumping so poorly right now. How do I scroll high? Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes, we can jump high as high as we want now. I mean, this is probably silly to do on these little jumps. Somehow we're managing to do it. The bouncing soundtrack or whatever the hell this thing is. There we go. There we go. Now it doesn't matter how high we jump. Oh, that fucked us up. Yep, we're yellow. We are totally yellow, and we're killing it. Okay, we could have done better there. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. But we are definitely ahead of the rest of the pack here. No, okay. A little bit of a question there. You know, the hurdles are never meant to hurt the horses or the runners. I mean, even in the Olympics, it's not actually... The trouble with being this far ahead is that we don't get as much advanced warning as the other guys get for their jumps. Though, to be fair, they're also bad at it. Um, so it ended three minutes because nobody ended, actually ended up finishing. Interesting. So we were yellow there. Why were we yellow? That doesn't make any damn sense. Why are we at the bottom? Okay, so let's up the skill to computer game skill and see if that helps us a little bit. So I'm going to press this and maybe just downward a little bit. Oh, that was, that was not a good jump. I wonder if what's happening is that I'm actually controlling all of the horses. That'd be weird, though, right? It would be weird. But we're all jumping at the same time. I don't have a good explanation for that. Oh, I'm fucking up bad here. Okay, move just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. That was a bad jump. But right now, all I'm focusing on is yellow because that's the only one I can adjust the jump height for. Everybody else is just kind of fudging it. And okay, now we're not jumping at all at the same time. Which makes more sense. Okay, so I'm only controlling the yellow horse. That makes a lot more sense. But again, not being able to see as far ahead as everyone else can is kind of bullshit. Um, how would you fix that? I think by not showing the other racers or by extending the length of the track... Reducing the size of the horse would uh, definitely do it. I mean, I got to appreciate the artist's skill here in rendering the horse. It's pretty good. Better than I could do. Oh, we ran away with it. We ran away with it. So is there any real disadvantage to just putting it up as high as possible and just going for it? Let's try it at this level. Let's do this again. All right, we'll stand up. Raise it up as high as it goes. And... Away we go. Now, theoretically, it does take us longer to land, but we should also stumble less, which means we should still get ahead of it. I think if we don't move it any further, I think at that point it gets just moot. And yeah, we're well ahead. 
even though we stumbled there. We didn't stumble there, though. And it's really hard to tell if the computer's actually adjusting their jumps. I would guess it would. I'm doing a really bad job of actually timing my jumps here. There we go, because I'm used to this movement, apparently. Doesn't make any sense at all, but that is what I'm used to, apparently. Okay, that was bad, but yeah, yeah, we are clearing away the best rider here, or jockey. Jockey is the word I'm looking for. The best jockey here, and sure, why not? Okay. And that's it. We ran away with it. We're done. Wow. We actually did that in less time, too, because we kept the highest jump stat. So, why wouldn't you? Alright, let's do excellent computer skill and see if we can actually beat them out this time. Same as before. We're going to try this. Highest jump stat. Might be ridiculous. Might not work at all. But it could be the strategy is only important when you're dealing with the computer at the highest level. I could see that. That would be interesting. Or even it matters, you know, when you're playing against people at your own skill level. Oh, I crumbled there. That's okay. We're getting better at this. And we're going to be moving a little faster now. Yeah, the timing of those big jumps, definitely difficult to do. I have seen, um, I want to call it horse hurdle racing. I don't know what the hell you call it, because it's not really a race usually. Um, usually, whenever they do this competitively, uh, the horse is on the track by itself. And um, they usually time it and score depending on how good the horse is. Uh, if you guys have never watched it, it's actually really interesting to watch. Um, at least, you know, once. Everything's interesting to watch once, I think. You know, I've watched golf once on TV. I've watched bowling. I've watched poker. I've watched horse races. I've watched dog shows. I'll watch anything once. There's no reason to jump there. I just did it out of victory. Um, yeah, I'll watch anything once. I don't mind doing it. But, um, it's definitely, definitely an experience. Uniform hurdles. Let's do excellent computer skill, because at that point, I don't think it even matters. Because we are just running away with this. So, does that mean the game is poorly designed if we can win at any time? Yeah, I think so. Um, a game should offer some degree of challenge. And this has not offered that challenge. I mean, maybe you could do like a personal challenge of making sure your horse never stumbles. Um, theoretically, that should be possible. I don't know how it is right now, but... Um, yeah, you should be able to, like, time your jumps perfectly. These big ones give me a little bit of my run for my money there. But, I mean, I know that's a problem even in real horse hurdle racing. Or not really racing. Horse hurdles? I don't even know what the hell you call this. Is it actually called steeplechase or steeple whatever the hell this is called? I mean, I guess that's a name for it. Yeah, we're just running away with it just by keeping... Boy, yeah, there's no reason to even worry about what controller you're using because it doesn't matter. Once the paddle is set, you can just keep going. I realize the intent, but did they never actually playtest the game against the AI? They just set the AI to be purposely bad even though this is supposed to be the excellent setting? Because look at this, man. I'm not even nailing these jumps, and I'm well ahead. I mean, we might run out of time. Maybe. Nope, we're not going to run out of time. Yeah, the steeplechase, what this is called. Okay. I mean, it's weird, though, right? Because doesn't it seem like you try to make sure... I and mean, I guess we'll just keep going here. Wouldn't you try to make sure that you had some kind of competitiveness to it? I guess really this was supposed to be as a four-player game. And there's some games just designed around that. You know, just be a four-player game. And that's it. That's all you got. And don't worry about the first-player experience because... Or the single-player experience, I should say. Because, you know, no one plays single-player games. That seems to be, like, a growing thing that's happened. And I realize that it's not new. I mean, this game proves it, right? This game proves it's not new. Whereas, you know, no one's ever going to play this game alone. So let's just make the single-player game suck. Or at least, you know, passable. They're not actually trying to make it suck. They're just realizing that few people, if any, are going to play the single-player game, especially because it's going to suck. And at that point, it's like, well, okay, why even include a single-player game, you know? I mean, I almost respect what the developers of Titanfall did when they decided, you know what? We're not going to make a single-player game. And this multiplayer game was excellent, actually. Um, but in not having a single-player campaign, for some reason, rankled a lot of people. 
I was like, well, yeah, but would you prefer them doing like a shitty first person or single player game? I wouldn't. I'd prefer them to have a really good multiplayer game and then a really good single player game. And that's what ended up happening, yes, because with the sequel, from what I hear, I haven't actually played it yet, but from what I hear, in Titanfall 2, the single player game is excellent if short. And then, of course, the big focus is on multiplayer. But, you know, that's exactly what you do, is you, you make the single player game a tutorial, if nothing else, so that someone can be actually, you know, moderately competitive in the multiplayer circuit. Makes total sense. Kind of wish Overwatch had done that, to be honest. That seemed to be far less hurdles. I guess they're randoms. So it's like random number two? All right. I mean, yeah, we just keep going about this and just talking about, you know, how games suck sometimes. It happens, you know, they don't always suck. Um, but, I mean, balance is a hard thing to do, right? Balance is really difficult when we're talking about single-player games because... You have to, you have to, you know, keep in mind the player progression of skill as well as, you know, actual progression if you have those kind of things in your game. And, you know, you have to up the challenge a little bit every time so you can tell the, the player, you know, okay, now's the time to step up your game. Now's the time to actually, you know, do something you never thought possible before. And that's why they're like bosses in clothing because then it's like, well, you know, you've already beat this boss in like an arena setting and now we're going to give them to you in like two at a time three at a time in just a regular setting and so you do it's like okay you know that's fair i can maybe do this now now that i know what the boss's weaknesses are i can do this um but then you know doing a multiplayer game well i screwed up that one bad and i still won that's just sad but in a multiplayer game you don't care so much about the npcs because they're not the threat the threat is the other players, and so then the skill level is different, and the balancing is a lot different, and it's a completely different skill set. So people who make excellent multiplayer games may suck at making a single player game, and vice versa, because it's a different idea entirely, you know? It's a different modus operandi, and for some reason these guys are actually keeping up with me. I don't know, but it's weird. So anyway, this is clearly designed as a multiplayer game. I'll just continue playing it as single player just because it's moderately entertaining. But I mean, at most, this is a casual game for casual scum. It might work okay as a multiplayer game. We'll see if uh, Karma Cat wants to play with me, but probably not. Because it seems pretty mundane. Um, not to mention, it really seems like the horses would really be hurting after landing like they are. I and mean, look at that horrible land. I mean, you see that sometimes in the competitive hurdling. Oh man, that was just horrible. I'm missing every single one of these now. Um, then there was no reason to jump anymore. Okay. Um, and it seemed like the computers were taking their cues off of me, which is weird. But yeah, when you when you watch, and you probably should, if you can find it on, I don't even know, would SPN have it? ESPN might have it. The only time I think I watched it was Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving, you know, as Thanksgiving Day Parade, Macy's Day Parade, which has always happened um, until, like, I think this year, actually. I don't actually know for sure. We'll see. Um, but I thought they sold their rights, but I could be wrong about that. Anyway, after the Macy's Day Parade, there is a dog show. Um, pretty much every year. And my parents love watching that for some reason. I can never totally understand that. But, you know, it's something to stare at while your body is slowly digesting the gigantic meal you just had. So I guess that's something. Um, but then after that, sometimes there's other events like, for instance, horse hurdles. Oh, and of course, I can't see very far. You know what? I'm just going to miss every single one of these and see what happens. Um, yeah, so when you see the horse actually miss a jump... It's actually, like, painful to watch. The horse obviously going, what the fuck? Um, because he's, he's depending on his rider to give him clues, and it's just not happening. Or he's misread the clue and mistimed the jump, or the rider mistimed the jump, any number of things. And so, you know, he feels horribly betrayed and hurt, obviously, physically and 
maybe even emotionally. Um, I mean, he's not panicked. Somehow we still came out ahead. That's ridiculous. You know what I'm going to try? I'm going to try not doing anything. I'm going to hit the button so it knows it's controlled by us. But that's it. I'm not going to touch it anymore. We're not going to actually going to jump for this. If we still win, that'll be hilarious. Um, so yeah, so you should you should watch and see what it's like. I mean, if you feel any concern for horses at all, that'd be maybe a little painful to watch. But um, definitely, I mean, you can see him do some pretty awesome jumps. So that's pretty cool. I think we're just going to end up being parallel here. Yeah, they're not jumping because I'm not jumping. They do seem to take my their cues from me. That's very strange. Why would you do that? Why would you program that? And they're jumping pretty much at the same time I am. It's almost like I control all four horses here. Because if I were to go ahead, they would try to jump more or less at the same time I did and stumble at the same time I did. But this seems to indicate that they always... Um... They always move the same speed, which is weird, because that is not what the lore says. The lore says one of these guys is supposed to get distracted and forget what he's doing. Um, it's just weird. Yeah, because I'm not jumping, they're not jumping. We test this hypothesis, jump. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that was weird. And for some reason now, the orange horses maybe have a little bit more of a lead. No idea why that would be true. Okay. I mean, who won there? Who could say, right? Talk about a photo finish. Um, I clearly didn't at that point. I think it'd be the second lane from the top. I don't know. That's all very strange. Um, this is a weird game. This is a very strange game. This, I think, only works in multiplayer. But even so, everyone moves the same speed. And we just tested that. Everyone moves the same speed. So then it's purely based on how much your horse stumbles, which slows him down, which I guess depends on how skillful you are making the jumps. So interesting game, probably actually only a multiplayer game, but nevertheless, we had an interesting conversation, so that was cool. So anyway, this was Steeplechase in the Atari Vault. I'm Peace of the Universe. You're Peace of the Universe too, and I'll see you guys next time.